it's uh, my pleasure and uh, <clears throat> uh, it's very uh, good honor to participate in this conference and uh, i'd like to present the research of our recent studies entitled uh, evaluation of the potential and the efficiency of geothermal system performance in closed mines Uh, first, I'd like to start with the um, state of the art of geothermal application in closed mining sites, and then we'll go to the input data we use for evaluations. Then I'll give you some idea about the method and criteria we used uh, for, uh, for assessments and uh, discuss the result and make the conclusions. This study was somehow the results of two uh, projects we were engaged in. The first one was supported by um, a forum of mining and water in Germany. And uh, the second one was supported by National Research and Foundation in Ukraine. Both projects were aimed uh, to evaluate the opportunities of um, mine water heat recovery and uh, energy exploration of former coal mining sites. And uh, it's because interesting, uh, especially interesting, because rural coal mining area and Donbass coal mining area in Ukraine are quite similar and uh, very similar in terms of geological and mining conditions. In our study, we focused on four types of geothermal systems. They are uh, open non-circulation and circulation systems that can be installed in uh, mine drainage stations or at the closed mining sites where, with more or less stabilized mine water level. And uh, the closed loop circulation, uh, closed circulation system or closed loop uh, systems <clears throat> that can be installed at um, former and abandoned uh, wells and shafts and can be submerged in water or um, be installed in the backfield uh, <clears throat> workings vertical workings. Thermally used water in uh, open uh, circulation system uh, usually uh, discharged um, back to the flooded mine workings at some distance from the pumping point or can be discharged in a surface water body like pond or stream. In a, a closed uh, loop uh, circulation system, uh, coaxial borehole heat exchanger or U-shaped borehole heat exchanger can be installed. It depends on the um, some on specifics of uh, mining conditions. Uh, the likely um, places of installations are mining shafts uh, or degassin wells, but it could be any of uh, unused uh, vertical. Uh, vertical workings. Sorry. And uh, <clears throat> by uh, the year 2020, uh, almost 30 geothermal installations were running uh, in at least nine countries of the world. Uh, first of all, in Germany and the United Kingdom and the USA. But of course, we understand this list is not complete and it's uh, is, is, uh, permanently updated uh, by uh, new geothermal plants. Nevertheless, uh, this table show the prospects of this of this sector of geothermal industry. And one of the particular purpose of our research was to demonstrate the potential of geothermal potential of um, former coal mining sites in Ukraine. And especially in terms of comparison of with the uh, rural coal mining area, whereas uh, <clears throat> where more than uh, ten uh, mining uh, geothermal uh, installations are running currently. Um, <clears throat> we identified the data on mine water level and uh, uh, mining uh, depth and conditions for 27 coal mines in Ukraine now being closed and uh, or, or closed and uh, being flooded and about on the on eight um, mine drainage stations the geothermal conditions in uh, eastern Ukraine 
were uh, studied uh, by the year 2015 and uh, <clears throat> the geotherm the, uh, the depth the deep geothermal flux uh, varies across this area almost three times and uh, reaches uh, almost 90 milliwatt uh, per square meter in some locations of the former coal mining sites <clears throat> in contrast to ukrainian mines uh, more, uh, all of um, of German mines we identified <coughs> were backfilled in the upper part, and the mine water level is maintained to avoid the salinization of uh, uh, upper aquifers used for water supply for population. Uh, besides, we identified the data for eight um, mine drainage stations in Germany. The geothermal conditions in uh, rural area were studied by a geological service of Northern, Northern West Westphalia and published in 2018. If we know the rock temperature at the depth of five kilometers below the ground, we can calculate and or uh, evaluate or assess the uh, rock temperature and uh, mine water temperature in the zones of former mining. In our study, we actually implemented a two-step uh, approach <clears throat> for um, uh, for evaluation of geothermal of um, uh, geothermal potential of coal mining sites. It is based uh, on the um, energy criterion for evaluation uh, um, that includes the basic uh, parameters and the, the mathematical models for a detailed feasibility study. So I will start with the energy criterion that is uh, will, that was proposed uh, by uh, our in our uh, studies, and it defines the relation of the uh, thermal energy produced by the system to the thermal equivalent of the electrical energy um, consumed by the system. Uh, the parameter uh, omega in the denominator. Uh, is a thermal equivalent of electrical energy and, and it quantifies how effective the um, electricity is generated uh, based on the um, fossil uh, fuels or conventional sources. Evaluation of the open loop system performance include calculation of the maximum thermal input or capacity uh, created by heat pumps um, regarding to the cooling of mine water during transportation and uh, the depth of water withdrawal and geothermal gradient. Besides, we calculated the economical and environmental indicators such as CO2 emissions. Mm. Uh, uh, um, that can be avoided by using heat pumps uh, instead of conventional energy sources. Evaluation of the closed loop system performance Mm, include the calculations of such parameters as the geothermal yield of the probe depending on the depth and the total heat flux extracted with the probe and the output temperature of the heat transfer fluid uh, and the, the, the last parameters uh, quantifies uh, the increase uh, in the temperature of um, uh, heat transfer fluid after circulation on the ground. The critical parameters uh, for, for the system is the thermal resistance of the um, probe. So we integrated the relevant formulas for, uh, for thermal resistance of different types of probes and evaluated the ranges of uh, the probe thermal resistances for different types for U-shaped, uh, single and dual U-shaped probes and coaxial probes. And then we validated the, the evaluated uh, ranges uh, on the example of two geothermal sites in Germany with available data. And we found that the temperature we calculated uh, was found uh, quite close to the temperature measured uh, in the field in, in, uh, on site. All this uh, formula were um, integrated in the Excel spreadsheets and uh, we uh, elaborated the so-called evaluation matrices for 
for analyzing geothermal systems. Uh, with these tools, uh, we analyzed uh, 55 closed mines and 16 uh, mine drainage stations in two countries. I'll start uh, the analysis uh, from uh, the rural mining area. Actually, we calculated a number of parameters, but only four of them are demonstrated in this and five next slides. Um, uh, the first parameter are the maximum thermal capacity is theoretically achievable. <clears throat> uh, and the second one, uh, additional thermal capacity, is defined as the difference between the maximum thermal capacity and the thermal equivalent of electricity consumed by the system. And the energy criterion is the indicator we propose to evaluate to, for evaluation of um, the energy efficiency varies from uh, five uh, from, from 2.5 to 4.0. Uh, it means, in other words, that uh, with electricity uh, uh, generated from the fuel uh, of one uh, containing one thermal kilowatt, one can produce 2.5 to 4. 0 0.0 thermal kilowatts. And then the, uh, the considerations of, uh, of that uh, graphs allow identifying the most promising locations for uh, geothermal installations and uh, former, coal, <coughs> former coal mines. Um, also, we uh, evaluated the potential of U-shaped uh, probes uh, in the backfield shafts uh, in, in, uh, in the rural coal mining area. And only five uh, of them can be considered as more or less attractive in terms of um, practical implementation. It is because of the fact that the um, backfield shafts, back, backfield part, are the below part of the shafts with a moderate temperature and is not so effective. And of, and of course, the energy efficiency quantified by the energy criterion is looks also not so promising. In contrast, um, the potential of coaxial probes uh, that can be sub, um, submerged in the flooded parts of the shafts looks much more attractive uh, because of, um, I assume, two reasons. Uh, first, uh, heat exchange with mine water is much more intensive in comparison to heat exchange with, uh, with solids. Uh, and secondly, uh, watered parts of shafts are located usually in the bottom part with a um, higher temperature. And the uh, uh, energy um, criterion varies um, from 2.3 uh, to 2.7, so a, a bit uh, slightly higher in comparison to backfield parts of the shafts. The potential of open system, open geothermal system uh, at the mine drainage stations in Donbass area uh, is comparable to German uh, mines in rural area, um, a bit sl slightly lower because of lower discharge, but nevertheless, uh, energy efficiency quantified by the energy criterion um, is even a few percent higher. Um, all Ukrainian mines are not backfilled now, so the opportunity still exists to install the open loop circulation system with a discharge of thermally used water back to the mines. So for this reason, we evaluated the potential of these mines too and uh, found um, 10, up to 10 uh, sites potentially uh, that feasible uh, in terms of uh, geothermal installation for um, open um, system, open geothermal systems. But the energy efficiency of such systems is quite uh, lower because of additional energy spans uh, to maintain uh, water circulation. And uh, at the end, we uh, evaluated also the potential of the probes that can be submerged in the flooded shafts uh, in, in Donbass coal mining area. And uh, only eight uh, of sites uh, are potentially feasible uh, and demonstrate quite good um, thermal capacity and energy efficiency. It is because of um, 
not very significant temperature of mine water in, in this in the mines with low indicators. And this was the result. This was the result of the first uh, stage uh, in our research um, to I did to rank all sites and identify the most promising locations. And the next step was to propose a more sophisticated tools tools for detailed evaluations and feasibility study. And the first one is a so-called hydraulic model. It is because it is based on the hydraulic flow equations in the system of underground flooded mine workings, considered as the pipeline system. So actually, we apply the uh, equations of pipelines and uh, calculated the average temperature of mine water as a, um, as a weighted average of uh, the inflows um, from different mining horizons from different of diff from different depths. And what is remarkable to notice that the critical parameter was found the hydraulic resistance of uh, the lungs horizontal workings uh, because uh, the hydraulic resistance of the shaft is neglectable, ne neglectable in comparison to the hydraulic resistances of long horizontal workings. And in case of a more detailed um, uh, geological and mining conditions, uh, we developed and uh, tested a more sophisticated tool using the software ModFlow and we developed the, the we developed the, the model uh, 3D, 3d model of water flow and heat transport in the flooded mine and tested it on the example of the mine number two novogrodivska um, in donbass and uh, after um, after a simulation uh, we uh, <clears throat> found that uh, in case of active uh, uh, mine water withdrawal and uh, the higher uh, infiltration rate, one should expect a gradual decrease in the, of uh, mine water temperature in the coming 20-25 years by approximately a few centigrades uh, because of uh, replacement of uh, warmer mine water with uh, colder uh, infiltration water. Of course, this is just a basic scenario. It depends on the um, uh, water withdrawal rate and uh, water management and uh, water flows in this mine and neighboring mines in the coming period and of course this is can be affected by uh, social uh, political and economical development uh, at this slide i'd like to conclude uh, my presentation um, first we proposed the energy criterion to um, uh, rank the uh, large number of mining sites in in two countries but not only in two countries uh, it is applicable to any any mines um, uh, and then apply this to identify uh, the most promising locations and secondly we proposed and developed and tested the mathematical models for um, more detailed feasibility studies uh, of the priority geothermal sites At this point, I'd like to finish my presentation and thank you for your kind attention.